everybody, welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. My name is Jake. We are out here in the wood yard today. It is Super Bowl Sunday, and uh, Sarah and I just got back an hour or two ago um, from a little weekend uh, getaway. We went up to Western Massachusetts and did a little bit of skiing yesterday. Um, it was nice, it was like 30, high 30s, low 40s. Um, plenty of snow, albeit man-made, out on the trails, and we had a, we had a good night skiing and uh, had some good food up there too. So uh, now that we're back, I uh, am gonna pick up where we left off. We got this dump trailer over here that's like two thirds full. And Chris and I did that, oh, I don't know, maybe on like Monday. <clears throat> so like almost a week ago. And then I tried splitting a little bit, broke the conveyor, fixed the conveyor. And I don't think we've split since I fixed the conveyor. So um, where I left off when the conveyor broke was that I was gonna try and split up the rest of these ash rounds here. Um, just on my own and while standing on the log lift side of the rugged made log splitter here. Um, so I'm gonna try and do that. Sarah just went out to the grocery store, run a couple errands, but she might come back and join me and give me a hand. Um, but I'm gonna be trying out, moving all these different logs with the log ox, log carrier thing here, and then I have the Fiskers uh, hook a rune, pick a rune. Um, so not a ton of rounds here, but probably more than I'll get done today because we have a Super Bowl party that we're gonna be going to later. Um, <clears throat> so we're looking forward to that. Let me show you what's in the trailer here. Like I said, about two thirds full. Um, so we'll try and get it filled up nice and high and definitely fill in the back here. Just burning up some scraps in the barrel and that's basically it. So let's get going.
So, all right, guys, put a good dent in the pile here. As you probably saw, Justin stopped by uh, shortly after I started splitting and gave me a hand. I'm gonna load him up with some firewood because he's hosting the Super Bowl party that we're having, uh, or that he's having, that we're going to later today. And I'm gonna load him up with some firewood. So I'm probably just gonna throw this partially filled tote up here of wood into the back of his truck. That way he has some wood to burn for the party. Um, but we filled up the trailer considerably. I mean, we are almost full here. I, I, I'll keep going on my own until it's totally fall off to knock down the pile, but it's looking pretty good. And uh, Justin, I wanted to get your input. What did you think of the Log Ox Log Carrier? thing this thing is unbelievable <laughs> my back doesn't hurt i'm not dangerous holding that thing oh the, the book of rune it's, it's as easy as bang bang on to the next one boom not messing up <laughs> not get it caught on the log this thing going but Need yeah he liked that because uh, you had used the pick a rune and stuff before but you weren't quite or a I fan of that have to get or just yeah use your back, your hands but you know. Yeah, I saw you using it, and that uh, you know you're keeping the the splitter fed absolutely no problem. So, why don't you spin your truck around, and uh, we'll get you loaded up. Let's do it. All right, guys, Justin is taking off, and we are gonna fire everything back up and keep splitting a little bit. Well guys, we put a huge dent in that pile. There's really not all that much left. Um, I should be able to get all that split up in a jiffy once the trailer is empty. Uh, we've been burning up all the scraps and stuff. Got two empty scrap tops, so that's always good. I'm getting rid of that stuff instead of having to dump it in the woods. Um, but take a look at the trailer here. It is chock full. Um, it was even overflowing down onto the ground, but this dump trailer is very, very full, as you can see, way up past the sides, probably like a good two feet past the sides. Um, now this is a seven by 14 foot SureTrack dump trailer. Um, it has these two foot oak sides on it so it's two foot steel sides and then two foot oak sides so that's four foot um, i'll have to do some quick math to see how much this thing actually holds um, going by like the 180 cubic foot loose stacked you know figure for firewood um, but with you know 180 foot being a loose stacked cord um, i believe this trailer will hold like two full cords loose stack from the last time I did my uh, calculations. Um, for those of you that are new to the channel, I've been getting a lot of new subscribers and everybody has been asking about this log arch on the back of the trailer, just asking what this thing is. Um, I'll answer a couple questions here. So for those of you that have been wondering what this thing is, it's what I said before, it's a log arch, um, or at least that's what it was designed to be. Basically, it's a lifting arch, and it acts as a lifting point on the back here. As you can see, I have assorted shackles there 
um, for different lifting points. And I have a, and basically, you know, a 12,000 pound winch up here in the front of the trailer. And basically we'll run that cable all the way back to a block that I'll put on one of those shackles and then run the hook out to a strap, you know, to a log or something that's out here. And I can essentially winch it up into the trailer and load the whole trailer full of logs. That That's how I used to load this thing full of logs before I bought the tractor. Um, I do have some videos on this thing in action. If you go back, um, I'll try and find one and put it up, you know, up here in the, in the top right of the screen um, for you to watch if you're interested. I don't use it all that much anymore because I do have the tractor, um, but it, it is nice to have when when you need it. Um, so this was all custom fabricated by me and my buddy Chris, Fabricator Chris. Um, this is actually the third you know, iteration design of it. The first two worked really well, but I just moved logs that were too big and I ended up breaking them. But as you can see here, we added on some, you know, support legs here to uh, help minimize the back and forth of the arch. Um, I'll have to find some logs someday and do a video on this thing because it is pretty cool to watch it in action. Um, but yeah, basically that's what that is. So now I'm going to throw this wood in the back of the trailer here, and I think that's pretty much going to wrap it up. I'll probably do a little bit of cleanup here around the splitter, separate out some kindling pieces, and get all the scraps into the burn barrel while I got, while I got a nice fire going. But that's pretty much going to wrap it up. So as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video here. Just changing it up a little bit. Um, me standing on the other side of the splitter using the log ox. I really like that thing. Uh, it's taken a while for me to kind of like get used to how to use it. But now that I've today being really the first day that I've used um, this log ox holder thing, I, I really do like it for loading rounds onto the you know, log lift uh, of, of the splitter. Um, it, it works really well and it prevents you from having to bend down. And I feel like you're able to, to get a better bite on the logs than the standard pick a -roon or hook a -roon that can sometimes fall off, especially if you're like swinging them up to get them onto the log lift arm. So I, 